Well, we made it to Phoenix, Arizona. So we're at the Hafley Brothers shop. So thanks to Doug, their team here as well for getting the Murroc in right in between Havasu Deuces and good guys Scottsdale. So we're gonna leave the car, truck and trailer here. They're going to replace all the new Kugel shocks. They're gonna put those on there and then we're gonna fly back in and pick up the car and do the event. So again, thanks to Doug. We're gonna show you the whole process. We're gonna check out the springs. Doug is opening those up. Let's walk over now. Let's check out the brand new Kugel shocks. Um, thanks to Kugel again. Uh, Jeff, thank you so much for hooking us up. We have to give a big shout out to Kugel Components for sending all brand new equipment here. We have brand new QA1 shocks and uh, Doug here is going to replace these on the Murroc and get us all dialed in. So Kugel hooked us up very quickly when we broke down in Oklahoma and then Doug uh, got these really a couple days later, Doug. Yep, received them on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> So I think we called Monday morning. We, we messaged them on Instagram Sunday night. They messaged back Sunday night. And then by Monday, they were getting them going and shipping them here, so. Yeah. He did say he sent the, well, we got the spanner wrenches, but. Hardware. Yeah, hardware. And then uh, there was something else. I think he built these on here so it'll be easier to turn them up and, and all that stuff to yeah. lock them in place. They are definitely a little shorter in the front, yeah, I think so. Shorter. Yeah, so the car is gonna be a little lower in the front, so we'll see how this uh, works out if I don't rip the whole front end <laughs> off. <laughs> but the backs look good. So QA1s all dialed in, and I'm trying to think of how many clicks. One, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11, <laughs> 11 <laughs> settings. <laughs> So maybe we start off, I don't know, in between. Start in the middle and go from there. Yeah. Um, but we may be playing with some of these as well here uh, in Phoenix and Scottsdale area. Drive a little bit and then turning a notch or two and uh, in the wake. But Doug, while we're here, tell everybody a little bit about the shop. How long have you guys been in business? How long have you been in this location? Well, we've been in this location uh, about eight years, been in business 10 years. Um, Kind of just stick to the 60s style early boards. That's kind yeah. of what we do. And you're real close to downtown Phoenix then. Yeah, pretty right? much right in downtown. And right off of the I-10. I-10. I-10, so how far are we away from Scottsdale right now? Uh, about 15 minutes. Okay, so real real close in that vicinity. And I know we're only, because we have to go to the airport today. I think <laughs> we're like five miles away from yep, the airport. Yeah, real close to the airport. Yeah. And one of the things I think people need to know about your guys' builds and everybody I've talked to as well, you guys drive all your hot rods. Yep, we, we build them to drive. <laughs> so you're you're on there and you guys drove hot rods to gathering at the Rock, everything yep. last year as well? Been there, I've driven three of the four years so far. So how far of a drive is that for you guys? Uh, 1,600 miles, I think. Okay. We're close to, 1,100. Do you have a top for the Roadster? I do, but I've never, never used it. <laughs> <laughs> so you drive at top speed, and it can be chilly at that time yeah. of year, so you're yeah. freezing a little bit. We put seat heaters in everything we yeah. build. <laughs> He's a braver man than I am. I can't do that in October. Um, take us a quick tour around the shop. Maybe tell us, uh, is there anything that we cannot show? No. Nope. Okay. No so maybe, here. <laughs> maybe tell us uh, or show us one of the bills. I see a Vicky over there, right? Yep. Um, I'm going to let you do the tour and maybe show us one or two things that you would like to uh, share with the audience. And uh, this is a place that you want to check out if you're in the Phoenix area. And I, I guess a question before we get started, um, how far are you guys out or if someone wants to get in contact with you guys, because you build hot rods to drive, yes. more traditional style, yep. right? Um, how they get a hold of you, what's your Instagram page? Uh, Instagram's just Hapley Brothers. H-A-I-F-L-E-Y. Um, L-E-Y, <laughs> yep. okay. And then it's just me and my brother. Uh, so that, that's the best way. It's just start on Instagram and then we go okay. from there. Okay. I'll give you my number. And as far as like timelines, we're probably two, three years out right now. Okay. So get in line like everybody else. Yep. Just like every shop right Every now shop <laughs> is that way. That's not a surprise. But if you said, you know what, I could get your car in next month, I'd probably be concerned. Yeah, right. So if there's a shop that isn't busy like you guys, there's probably a reason why they're not yep. busy. So that is a good thing. Um, but 
take me around, maybe show us a little bit here. Um, I see a couple chassis. I take so it this is the Vicky. That's the Vicky. Yep. This chassis is a 35 Ford truck. This guy moved here from California in 1962 in this. Really? Same motor, same train. He drove here from California in 1962. Wow. So the rest of the the body's all in the storage right now. It's all in primer body work, ready to be sanded out and finish the process. Uh -huh. So I'm in a bodywork stage of a couple projects right now so and you guys paint and do bodywork i too? paint everything i build okay so i don't do real high-end paint jobs but okay i do my best every time but the drive <laughs> stuff you yep. can drive you're not yep. scared to have to death right right yeah okay so and then we got the vicky chassis here 32. where's this car out of so this car we found a guy one of our customers he started with the 32 sedan he brought it in we got it blasted and we x made that project real quick. It was like, there's no point in touching this. It makes no sense. Start. Yeah. So we started looking for another sedan. And then a, uh, about a week later, a 32 Vicky popped up on Craigslist, local in Phoenix. Uh -huh. The guy moved here from New York and he's had the car. He had the car for 25 years and uh, decided to sell it once he got it out here. <laughs> wow. So what we motor? built the chassis and everything, okay. 327 Tremec okay. TKX, um, original axle. We do, we drop all of our own axles, um, use early forward wishbones and everything mm -hmm. on the front. Try to use a fair amount of original parts. Yep. Mix match the stuff you can use to drive and being too problematic. So the Murak is like a totally opposite for you here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's yep. like out of the ordinary. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so, and we'll get to the Vicky here, but uh, what project is this? So this is a 34 coupe that that customer bought. Okay. And he was going to turn this car into the salt flat style car. Okay. So one of my friends said, talked him out of it and told him he'd find another body. Don't cut this one Don't up. Don't cut this one up. So this car is kind of all original, never been a part. It was sanded down it looks like and put in primer at some point and stored away but you open the door jams they're all still black paint inside really so we got the original motor and tranny and everything and so what, what what's going to happen to this car? our plans with this car is the hot rod at chassis interior okay. not touching the exterior really then so we want to drive it to deuce days in 25. okay so that's our plan and then after that it's probably going to go for sale okay wow and so this is the replacement up here the five window yep and it's going to be like a salt flat type car salt flat style the okay. 34 frames stacked under the okay 232 frames there uh-huh um do you have a motor so that or? one's getting the 21 stud flathead quick change uh muncie four speed a bunch are just early early parts early cadillac gauges in it was it already chopped? Nope, we chopped it, did all the lower patches, all the wheel wells, firewall. So you guys fab a lot, do a lot of metal a lot work, of work, all that. Yeah. Pretty much start to finish everything, but rebuild the motors. Okay. Motors, trannies, we don't do any of the rebuilding of those. Okay. We send those out. Uh, we do all the interior, paint, everything. Wow, <laughs> wow. And then when is the Vicky going to, going to be done? Um, I'm hoping definitely before the rock. Okay. But probably two, three months, I'm guessing. Now you said it was, or maybe I said it, driver quality paint, but this doesn't to me look like driver quality paint. Well, when you, I mean, it looks when like you stand in front of it and sand all day. For yeah, it looks like you've been you kind of see everything. <laughs> blocking, sanding, polishing yeah, for a while, a lot right? Of it. Um, yeah, and the same deal with this, kind of did all the lower sheet metal on it. Uh -huh. All the rust from the ocean air behind the drip rails is all replaced up here. Okay. Has a Walden roof insert on it. Wow. Had to put a new cowl top in it. Rockers. So it had a, had a lot of work. A lot of sheet metal work. Yeah. Yeah. And people wonder why stuff doesn't happen overnight, or yeah. they wonder why, uh, Prices are what they are because there's a lot of work involved yep. in this stuff. Yeah, it pays to buy the nicest body you can, even if it costs a lot more right. in the beginning. Right. It pays right. off in the end. Now, I, I see your Roadster here, right? Is this your personal Roadster? That's my personal car, yeah. Okay. 
So this is the one that you drove to the gathering at the Rock, yeah. right? I saw you driving everywhere there last year. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the Roadster, what engine, and um, what makes this car special to you? So this car is a little special to me because the body, when I first moved to Phoenix in 2002, I have had no real hot rod background at all. Uh -huh. So we started hanging out with some guys and then this uh, guy was building this car kind of from scratch, you know, uh -huh. so it's all pieced together body. Um, he had a little shop not too far from here and uh, he pieced everything together. And then I did some work for a customer because I mentioned to him I was going to buy a Brookville car mm -hmm. and he said he had a better plan for me. So he said, you do some horse trading and I'll give you the body. Wow. So the body was painted, you know, it was about probably 20 years ago that uh -huh. the boy did it now. And he was old when he built it 20 years ago. So I think he's 85 or something now. Okay. Um, Is it a Henry body? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's all original. Some aftermarket sheet metal on it, of course. Right. Uh, so then I ended up with the body. It had the gauges in it. Um, so then we built the chassis. It's a 327. Had that. My buddy built the motor for me. 471 blower. Walden Drive for the blower. <laughs> kind of just a 36 wishbones, 57 for nine inch. Magnesium wheels. Early headlights, uh, just a lot of early parts on it. That's a, that's a long ride in this without a top. <laughs> yeah, it was. You're, you're <laughs> it still, was fun you, you must be still young. You're young enough <laughs> yeah, to do I'm that. I'm starting to feel not so young. <laughs> <laughs> now, and, and then you guys did the interior and everything Yeah, so in uh, my brother's girlfriend, we had kind of made all the panels and she sewed up the interior in two days just so I could get it to to drive it. Uh -huh. That was the first year I got it done in 21, but I missed the deadline. I headed out to Oklahoma the morning. We got the car running about four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> we started headed out about seven in the morning and then uh, first stop, my front wheel cylinder was leaking. Uh, so I said, well, that's a sign. I'm gonna <laughs> shut it down. Yeah. Cause we only, we didn't have any break in miles on the motor or nothing. Uh -huh. So that's usually the style we do it in. But it's nice when when you built the car, you know everything that yeah. is fixed or yeah. if you break down, you can replace it. Right. So guys like me come to guys like this <laughs> <laughs> to fix the stuff because I'm not a mechanic. Uh, and I can replace shocks, I can do basic stuff, but I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. So we come to people like this that knows what they're doing. Put enough miles on, you kind of know what goes yeah. wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's usually a part failure you can't control anyway. So. Right. Now, is there anything else that is scheduled to come into the shop? Um, so, right now we got a, the next one is a Brookville three window. Okay. We're doing for a good customer. Chopping it's, it? Chopping it. Okay. It's gonna be a 390 Caddy with a five speed. Okay. Uh, has a winner's quick change in it. Uh -huh. Kind of the same wheel tire combo. Right. He wants to do something, he can kind of do some of the vintage drag racing. Right. In. So that's what's coming in next. Nice. And then, uh, that box is full of next full project. parts. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple, there's yeah. a 32 um, Cabriolet in there, and then an old West Coast car as well, crunchy and early style, you know. Okay. Kind of like that, that blue one, you know. Right, right. So we like to build stuff like that that kind of has a little bit of history. That was running around Phoenix in the early 60s, kind of as nice. a hot rod, so. Nice. Got parked forever and kind of resurrecting it. Perfect. The less, less body work and paint we have to do, the better. Well, we have to give one more shout out before we wrap up this part, before we come back. I gotta give a shout out to Hothead Lou. Hothead Lou, if you're watching <laughs> this video, you're the one that introduced us to Doug here and said, you know what? It is okay to take your car, truck, trailer, everything here to leave it with Doug. He's a good guy. And then I also talked to Mark Westrick um, do you know Mark? Yep, we so made it to Mark's shop. We once. talked to Mark uh, yesterday in Havasu. I was like, we're taking it down here, we're doing that. He's like, oh yeah, man, those guys are great. And they drive their <laughs> stuff everywhere. So big shout out to especially Hothead Lou for making the introduction. Thanks to again, Doug here for getting the car in, hooking us up, storing the truck and trailer in the car, but really making quick work of the shocks, yep. right? 
So we're going to get on a flight. Kyle's gonna show a little bit more maybe inside the shop, but we're gonna show you the finished product when we get back from Ohio and show the brand new shocks on the Murak, and then we're gonna be on the road in Scottsdale all weekend long, my brother and I this trip, and we're just gonna add more miles to the Murak. So until the next session when we come back, Hayfley Brothers, you gotta give them a follow on Instagram, and that is a good way to contact these guys if you wanna schedule some work, or maybe maybe you just have shocks broke down or something <laughs> like that, and you contact these guys if as well. If you're coming through town, broke down, hit Yeah, me up. <laughs> but check out the shop if you're in the Phoenix area as well. Uh, these guys are great, so. We'll be back here in three days. Three days, you're gonna see us again back here at the Hayfley Brothers. So until three days later. But just like that, we're back. It's three days later, we're with Doug again. And uh, we have the car all loaded up, but thanks again to Doug here. Doug, I appreciate it. Yep. He got the rear shocks on. We do have to make one change on the front shocks, right? The little cone at the yep. top. So we're gonna send those back, but he hooked us up, got the car ready, and we're just gonna drive in Scottsdale all weekend. Yep, you'll have fun, enjoy the weather here. Yeah, <laughs> so thanks to Doug, thanks to the Hayfley Brothers here in Phoenix. Give them a, a shout out, follow them on Instagram. We'll tag that below, below in the video as well. And by all means, I always say this in every video, you gotta visit opposingcylinders.com, our website, where we're close to about 130 listings and we've been adding each and every day, it seems like, brand new listings. So give us a follow, check the website out, but special thanks to Doug and uh, give them a shout out, a follow, but we appreciate everything and we'll see you on the road in the next video.